My name is Steve Granick. We're a group of about 10 people at Study State. That means that most years we have an opening for one or two new people, either students or postdocs. We're mostly an experimental group, but we collaborate closely with theory and computational groups, which are also so important. We work on materials, especially soft and living materials, and we welcome students and postdocs from all backgrounds. Um, no experience is needed. All you need is curiosity. I have to say publications are important, but people are even more important. People will join the group. It's like a family. You join, we see each other almost every day for a few years, and then you leave. My job as an advisor is to help you to grow and to mature and to prepare yourself to become whatever you choose to be while having fun doing it. I came to UMass after being the director of a Blue Sky Research Center for almost 10 years and before that I was a professor at the University of Illinois. The group already has more than 50 alumni chemists, physicists, biologists, chemical engineers, bioengineers, mechanical engineers. We all live and work together and help each other out. And one thing I've come to realize as, a, as an advisor is that most students are able to do much more than they think they can if they have an advisor who believes in them. During the first year, most students work together with a more senior group member, but then there usually comes a time when they feel itchy and they want to move off in their own directions and we both sides, uh, they and I, welcome when that comes. Each group member has with me a personal meeting every week. It's usually not only about the research we're doing, but also about personal matters that depends on the student and on the week, but it's very open and free-flowing. The time depends whatever it takes, uh, as little or as long as it takes. I never felt that industry and academia are inconsistent. You can do one, you can do the other, and you can do both if you have the energy and the ideas to do it. I often think when I say that about one of the previous group alumni, who's a startup entrepreneur while also a professor. He employs himself more than 50 people. When I ask him, didn't you waste your time as a graduate student working on more scientific projects? He denies that. He says that his PhD prepared him well for his future career as a professor entrepreneur. I encourage you to look at the alumni section of our group website to see the very successful careers of the women alumni from our group. I hope very much that you'll get in touch. Chatting is free, there's no commitment, and sometimes it happens that what begins as a casual conversation can end up changing your life. <laughs>